That woman who went to the well, she had no idea that she was going to see God there that day. No idea at all. For people in that town, going to the well was as mundane as going to Stewart's to get milk. There would be no reason in the world to expect that God would be present and that she would have a chance to talk to God. But that's how it works, you know. God always comes unexpectedly in our lives in the most unexpected places. And God always comes in disguise. This week, I was with three members of the staff and two parishioners from St. Mary's at a parish conference. It was called the Amazing Parish Conference, and it really was cool. It was in Atlanta, and although the weather there was not as bad as here this past week, it was still bizarre. It was strangely cold. In the mornings, it would be in the 20s. People there couldn't believe it. So we comforted ourselves the best way we knew how. We decided to go eat some southern food, and off we went to Waffle House. For those of you who've been down south, you know what a delight that is. And they did something there that, you know, I guess wouldn't happen up here too commonly. As we were leaving, the waitress asked Bob DeRosier, our wonderful faith formation coordinator there, uh, if he would like coffee to go, complimentary. Would you like me to warm you up and put it in a to-go cup and with a lid and let you take it with you? Something that would really never happen in these parts. And he was delighted. So off he went with this coffee, which was going to keep him warm for the long walk back to the conference. But as soon as we went out the door, we encountered a man there wrapped in blankets who was clearly homeless. And he smiled at us and he very gently said, do you happen to have any leftovers from breakfast that I could have? And it was a humiliating moment because I had eaten enough breakfast for three people. <laughs> and there was not a leftover in sight. And none of us had any food, but there was that coffee that Bob was holding in his hand. And so he took the coffee and handed it over to the man. And I have this strong image in my mind of what he did then. He took it with both hands and he took a sip right away and he said, thank you so much. God bless you. When the waitress gave Bob that coffee, he knew he was receiving a gift, but he didn't know what it was. He thought it was the gift of kindness for a cold morning, but that's not what it was. It was a gift that enabled him to have an encounter with God. And that gift was so much better. We need to start to expect that God can show up in moments like that. We need to be on the lookout because God is going to show up always unexpectedly and always in a disguise. And we are going to be much more prepared to experience God if we are on the lookout because it is not always easy to perceive that God has been here. One of the reasons for that may be for a, a reason we don't really understand, but it's this. God is somehow much more likely to show up in your life when you are going through a bad time than when you're going through an easy or good time. We don't know why that is, but experience tells us it's true. God is even more likely to be there when you are going through something hard. In fact, that is such a reliable trend that it's been said that if your car ever breaks down, be vigilant on the lookout for a miracle. And you know, these things happen all the time. Social media brings us so many stories about this. I just saw one this week about someone who was going to a uh, funeral for a family member in Tennessee, and somewhere on the way, their car broke down in the middle of nowhere, in a place they'd never been. And the mechanic told them it was going to take a day to fix the car. But when the mechanic heard secondhand that the person whose car this was was on their way to a family funeral, he went into the waiting room, found the person whose car it was, and had the keys to his truck. 
and said, I heard you're going to a funeral. Take my truck. These things happen all the time. And they so often happen when things are bad, when you're feeling down and out. Maybe that's why one author says, God is always speaking to us, but God speaks in a whisper sometimes. The exact quote is from C.S. Lewis. God whispers to us in our pleasure and shouts out to us in our pain. So, this week it is clear that we are meant to grow in our ability to see through God's disguises, to be on the lookout for God in our life, especially in the hard times. One thing they said at this conference that we went to was very challenging. They said, there is a way to know if your message is reaching the people in your parish. They said, and this is how you can know if the message is reaching the people. If there's something going on at Mass that causes them to say, wow, that was really powerful, or oh my goodness, there was a God moment, they'll bring a pen and paper with them to Mass because they won't want to miss it. They won't want to forget it. They won't want to let it go by. And that's a really interesting test, isn't it, for how open we are to hearing God's voice. If today we heard God's voice, would our hearts be open, as the psalm says? Might we bring some paper with us to jot down, oh my goodness, that opening prayer was so beautiful, or maybe an insight from the homily, or something strikes you during the consecration and you go, oh, I want to, I want to capture that. We sometimes come here maybe not expecting to meet God, which is funny, isn't it? Because we know that we're going to encounter God in the strongest way possible in just a moment. And how will God be presented? In a disguise. We're going to have to be able to see beyond that. And we need to be taking notes of God's presence all around us. One of my favorite authors says, that one lesson that she never seems to learn and keeps having to be reminded of throughout her life is that everything is God's school. Everything we experience in life is God's school. She said, it's the conversations that I think have nothing to teach me. It's the situations that I wish I weren't in. It's the people I'd rather avoid. They're the ones, that's the place. That's where I experience God the most strongly. If today I hear God's voice, will my heart be open? There is a word that we often use that dulls our ability to experience God in the disguises. And that is the word coincidence. Coincidence is a silly word. It's not true. For those of us who see this pattern, we know there are no coincidences there are only, as they say, God incidences. So let us grow in our ability today and this week and throughout our lives in seeing God in all of those disguises. Because God is not going to barge right into our life. God never comes unless invited. But the good news is, if you're paying attention, you will see that God is always finding clever ways to get invited.